Hey guys, so this is going to be kind of a really serious video. I don't really know how to tell you guys this, but I have not really been completely honest with you guys about everything. A long time ago, I did something that maybe a lot of you guys wouldn't exactly expect from me, but in the moment, I just felt like I had to do it. I just couldn't control myself, to be completely honest, so yeah. I should tell you guys these kinds of things and be honest with you guys, which is why I'm making this video. What I'm trying to tell you guys is a lot of you guys might be fans of the band Panic at the Disco. I'm a fan of them too, only um, at one point in my life, I took my fandom inside of me to kind of a whole new level that maybe some of you guys would consider stalking, but it's really not. So back when A Fever You Can't Sweat Out came out, which was I guess now a good like 10 years ago or something. One day in the boring town that I live in Connecticut, I just totally happened to see Brendan Urie just walking down the street. I haven't even heard any songs about him yet, not even I write Sins Not Tragedies, but I was just like, you know what? I'm a fan of this guy and I bet he's in a band. I just had a feeling and I bet I'm gonna be a big fan of that band. I just had this feeling, just know it, you know? Thinking in my head, you know what I need to do with this man? I need to capture him and I need to find a special place for him and I need to put him in my closet. Just like, Brendan, it's time to be captured. And I I handcuffed him with these handcuffs. And I was just like, all right, Brendan, time to go to my closet. <laughs> For the past 10 years, Brendan has actually been living inside of my closet. Um, this might not make sense to some of you guys because I know Panic at the Disco has been on tour since this happened. And um, this is gonna sound really, really crazy, but um, Brendan actually never stayed in any hotels with the rest of Panic ever. So whenever Brendan would be on tour, um, he would actually fly back to my closet. I would make sure that he did. If any of you guys met Brendan in any hotels, I'm really sorry, but you met like a double of Brendan. Uh, me and Brendan actually did look into a double in case it was ever needed so we could keep our secret. Because believe me, Brendan loved being in that closet. I'm still a little bit sad that he left. This is the closet that I actually kept Brendan inside of. It's a really big closet. We had tons of fun times in there. There's always so many things you can do in the closet. So it's not like I was just keeping him in some little closet. Like I gave him a nice closet to be in. There was tons of fun activities to do. There was teacup piggies to play with and stuff. Um, the Ticket Piggy seems to be out of battery now, but it used to talk. This one is called Litter One Princess Piggy. We all know Brendan loves top hats, so I had some top hats in here for him. Some huge spiders. A naked Hello Kitty. <laughs> Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls hung out of here. What else did I do? <laughs> Brendan would go to another country. Sometimes it would be impossible for him to be able to fly all the way back to my closet. So what I would do would be fly up to that country, make sure I brought my own portable closet in a hotel. I don't actually know where my portable closet is at this point. Just use your imagination, guys. <laughs> Recently, one of my good friends, Frank, cranked that Frank. He met Brendan and I hated to admit it, but I just saw something in their relationship that I never saw on my own with him. I just knew that I had to let Brendan be free. I couldn't just keep him in my closet for forever when he could be out there living a better life. I couldn't do it. I knew that it would be hard to let Brendan go because me and Brendan really did have so many great times in that closet. It might seem like Brendan didn't enjoy it, but believe me, he did. Cause you know in the song, I write sins not tragedies, he had a feeling one day some girl was gonna capture and put him in a closet and he was gonna actually really like being in there. So you know when he's like talking about closing the goddamn door? That was because he wanted somebody to go close the door so he could remain in my closet. I can't just hold Brendan hostage forever as much as I'd like to. I know that he has to be with Frank. There's nothing I can do to stop this amazing relationship from blooming and blossoming into something beautiful. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I did release him from the closet. Me and Brendan parted ways, but you know, we'll always be closet buddies. Cause all the fun things happen in the closet, guys. Like, totally. <laughs> Frank and Brendan have been so happy ever since. I don't know if you guys have heard the news. Now they have an emo baby coming really soon. It's gonna be the most emo baby in the world. I think Brendan's carrying the baby. I need to double check this. And it's gonna be like a super emo baby. It's gonna come out with like the whole emo fringe thing. And it's gonna have eyeliner on. And yeah, definitely starting the whole new generation of emos. So so yay for emo babies and I will hopefully be invited to the baby shower that I can like take cool pictures of the emo baby and you know maybe film a whole video just at the baby shower because this is so legit and yeah and um yeah so now Brendan and Frank are just so happy together have this amazing emo baby on the way pretty pretty exciting stuff going on so 
That is the beautiful story between Brendan and um, Eugenie Brendan, whatever her ship name would be, ending. And um, yeah, so I'm just really glad that you guys know the truth now. If you guys are glad that I told you, then give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. <laughs> I promise you guys I'm not always this weird. I'm just gonna stop being a weirdo now and like end this video. So alright, well I love you guys so much. Alright, bye! <laughs>